Hey, I'm Mike Davidson. Thanks again for joining us. We've got news just off the wire that we've spotted some unicorns up in some high wilderness area of Wyoming. Rumor has it that, that these animals can't be captured or killed, so guess where we're going? We're going to the high country of Wyoming. And to help us on this adventure this week, we're taking Alexis, our mythology expert, with us. Maybe you've remembered her from a past episode. She helped us catch a manatar and some trolls and, and actually a Sasquatch a week ago. We're going to take her with us, make sure we don't do anything crazy, get one of these things captured. It's going to be another exciting episode here on Beyond the Legend. His name is a whisper feared by the darkness. His instincts drive him into the unknown. To dispel the legends, he faces the myths. And now, they're the hunted in Beyond the Legend with Mike Davidson. This looks like a pretty good area. Yeah, let's set up and do some glassing right here. This is where they said they've been seeing them. Unicorns are actually really extremely difficult to capture or kill. So this could prove to be a really challenging hunt. Unlike the vampires, the trolls that we've done in the past, unicorns have absolutely unparalleled instincts. So they can sense your aura from tremendous distances. So I've asked Mike to bring along his long range hunter. Hopefully that'll give us the upper hand in the matter. Hey, what's that right there? That's it, right there. That's her, that's her. I got the shot. No, 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 let her, let her go. I don't think she's that big. You sure? That's a unicorn. <laughs> Let's get it. No, 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 no. She's young. That's She's small. No, she's too small. What? That's a you unicorn, can't. man. Let's take it. There's a lot bigger unicorns out there. If you want bigger to than that you one? should wait. You should wait. But that one looks big to me. I mean, how do you tell if it's big or not? I mean. The average alicorn is about a cubit and a half. Cubit? What the heck's a cubit? Cubit is 18 inches, um, so you're looking about 27 inches for a trophy alicorn. Holy smokes. She looked a lot Did smaller than that. Did we just see that. <laughs> Come on. I know. That thing, I know. That thing I've been like waiting my whole life for this. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh. Well, That's awesome. That is totally awesome. If that was a younger one, then that means there's got to be some older ones around here somewhere. That's what I'm thinking. There's a lot of cover over in that country. I see what I think we should head back out there into the trees, some, some heavier cover. Probably trying to get away from the weather like the rest of us. <laughs> All right, let's do it. That was awesome. <laughs> Sweet. When we passed on that first unicorn, Mike, you know, he was a little upset, but I felt like the uh, unicorn had a, you know, had a mixed coat. wasn't as desirable as some of your other trophies. And the alicorn was not that big. Just not what we would call a beyond the legend trophy. What else do you know about unicorns? Well, usually what they do to catch these guys is they bait them. They take With what? a maiden, pure in heart, take her out in the forest, sit her underneath a tree. The unicorn, drawn to her purity, comes out and falls asleep in her lap. You gotta be kidding me. And that's when the hunters take them. However, if the bait is faking it and isn't actually pure in heart, the unicorn continues to tear them to pieces. Really? So, it's a good thing we're gonna go that way. Turns out poorly for the bait. When you think of a unicorn, you don't really think of something that's ferocious and vicious like that. You know, they didn't start being uh, connected with purity and Christianity and things like that until they're mentioned in the Bible. Uh, before that, they were actually connected with a lot of destruction. Wow. Um, well, we're gonna. She's so powerful. <laughs> Got the yeah. old seven millimeter. We're gonna take one down. If we get that lucky. We're out here walking around. It's freezing cold. My feet are cold. My hands are cold. And then Alexis tells me we can actually bait these unicorns. I drove all the way up here to Wyoming to hunt unicorns. I brought my long-range hunter. But come to find out, I could have brought my thermos of hot chocolate, my book, my tree stand, and we could have baited one of these things. But no, she's got me out there walking around. I'm freezing my butt off. I don't know what she's thinking. Mike can say what he wants, but I had some unicorn blocker purity in the bottle, they call it, and you can sneak up on the unicorns a lot easier, but it kind of sparkles, and I, Mike's a little sensitive about his masculine image. I don't want to make him uncomfortable. I don't see nothing. We should 
You should have let me shoot that one. They are a solitary creature, but they do have packs. We'll find another one. You wait. You wait. So you're hunting for a trophy, but most yeah, I people hunting. most people hunt them just just because they're uh, the magical properties of, of the horn. I'm more interested in the horn than the, the magic. Well, they say it can ward off poisons and illness. Yeah, I figured it'd just be a nice piece. <laughs> a nice wall there. hanging, huh? We're out there hunting, trying to stalk this thing, and Mike's all, you know, I'm not really interested in the magic. I'm more interested in the horn. Mike, you know, the horn is the magic. That's why people hunt these things. Otherwise, it's just another horse on the wall with a funny horn. Hey, the reason why I gave up hunting elk and mule deer and that and started hunting these mythological creatures is because it's just, it's way more exciting. You never know what's gonna happen. I've had them disappear in a puff of smoke. I've had them turn into something completely different. And usually though, they, they're allergic to lead just like anything else, and they come home caped out with a nice trophy to put on my wall. We should have shot that unicorn this morning. Heck, it was a pretty good one. She's the guide, so she's in charge, but that might be the only unicorn we see today. And we've been out here for six hours trying to find another one, and it just ain't happening, so. It's cold, it's miserable. She thinks there might be one over on the next side of this ridge, but we'll see. I guess we'll just keep trying. Mike usually is a lot more fun to be with on hunts. I gotta be honest, he was kind of a stick in the mud in the cold weather. I. That's the only thing I can put it with. He's used to being out hunting manatars in the Mediterranean, um, all these exotic places. But when he found out it was Wyoming in the dead of winter, he just got to buck up. We were running out of daylight. Uh, the wind was howling. I was just about ready to pack it up. And Alexis said, hey, let's just go try over this one last ridge. We'll check it out. We'll make sure there's nothing here before we head out. Yeah, that's a good spot. Should try right there. What's that? What's that? Going through the trees. You see it? What is that? Oh crap! We gotta go. What? What? It's black. It's a black unicorn, not a white unicorn. You don't understand. Any story that does exist with these guys, we don't come out alive. All right. What's the difference? White, black. Let's shoot it. Look at the horn on that thing. Look, a black unicorn has basically been a unicorn who has been enslaved to do evil. You're not hearing me, Mike. I don't even know if you can kill these things. People don't hunt these things. There's a reason. What the crap? This thing's gonna go down there. Let's circle around. We'll get a good shot at it. If, hey, I don't, if I got, you can kill it. If you can kill it. If not, we're dead. I can kill anything. Let's get over there and get him. Mike, nobody knows if these things can be killed. Nobody hunts them. There's a reason. Oh, we're gonna kill him, all right. I don't even want to be this close. Now I've been on some of the craziest hunts for the craziest critters that, that you could even imagine existed on this planet. And when I saw Alexis' face, I could tell that we were in the danger zone. She doesn't get robbed very easy. She wanted to get the heck out of there. But I, I talked to Alexis, she decided she was game. We decided to, to put the sneak on this unicorn and we, we kind of flanked around from the back end of it and we were being pretty careful because I mean, we didn't know what to expect here. We wanted plenty of time to get set up and make a good shot because really we didn't know what was going to happen once we shot this thing. When I first saw the black unicorn, I was terrified. I was really excited to see one, but really wanted to get out of there. And Mike is just like, oh, look at me, I make Davidson, I can kill anything. Holy cow, what is that? When the unicorns are coming through this kind of country and they rub up on things, they just leave this uh, this dust. It's all over them. They've got it on their skin and off their, their alicorn. I don't know why I didn't put this together sooner. I look around and everything is just dead. That's so typical of having a black unicorn in the area. Oh, whatever. Everything just starts to die. Well, look, look at these, these mountains around here. There's nothing here. All the trees are starting to die. 
I don't know why I didn't see the sign sooner, but we're obviously on the right, right, right path. Let's get it. Originally, Mike had said we just need to circle around and get behind the unicorn. So we started sneaking up on him and we get down into this uh, little hole. We got lucky. We, we were sneaking pretty quiet and we, we caught this unicorn field there. I'm a little nervous because I don't really know what's going to happen. Legend has it that these things can't be killed, that nobody's ever killed one. And here we are trying to go beyond the legend and make this thing happen. We're setting at about 350. Take a high shoulder shot, put him down hard. I told you, we get around this corner, we'll have him down there. I'll get him, man. Nobody has One ever, shot. ever killed, ever killed a black unicorn. <laughs> and I cannot believe that Gunworks rifle. I didn't think it would put him down, but it put him down hard. It's like Mike, take the high shoulder shot, and that's exactly what he did. Magic, mysterious, immortal, but in the end, flesh and bones. Hunting Wyoming, man. It's as good as it gets. Alexa said this thing was about a cubit and a half. I, I don't know what that means, but this is 28, 29 inches long. It's huge, huge base on it. It's a wall hanger. I mean, I've never seen one like it, and I doubt anybody else has either. Of course, this was the bigger of the two. Probably doing the locals a favor. Thanks. <laughs> I think nice. probably the best thing about hunting with Mike is he's just an incredible hunter. I mean, he's a crack shot, and he'll do anything. I mean, it's borderline crazy. He's not afraid of anything. Uh, pretty good base on it, uh, just jet black. Awesome trophy, a, a wall hanger in my book, and uh, I can't wait to see somebody else get one and see how this compares. Well, one, it's just a good time. His experiences, my experiences, we just get to hang out and talk, and it makes for pretty good hunting when you roll it all together. <laughs> <laughs>